Thank you very much. Thank you. Today, I'd like to provide you with an update in our war against the coronavirus. Thanks to our comprehensive strategy and extraordinary devotion to our citizens, we've had such tremendous support all over. We continue to see encouraging signs of progress. Cases in New York area, New Orleans, Detroit, Boston, and Houston are declining. Denver, Seattle, Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., Atlanta, Nashville, Indianapolis, and St. Louis are all stable and declining. All parts of the country are either in good shape, getting better, in all cases, getting better. And we're seeing very little that we're going to look at as a superseding hotspot. Uh, things are moving along. Really a uh, horrible situation that we've been confronted with, but they're moving along. As we express our gratitude for these hard-fought gains, however, we continue to mourn with thousands of families across the country whose loved ones have been stolen from us by the invisible enemy. We grieve by their side as one family, this great American family, and we do grieve. We also stand in solidarity with the thousands of Americans who are ill and waging a brave fight against the virus. We're doing everything in our power to heal the sick and to gradually reopen our nation and to safely get our people back to work. They want to get back to work, and they want to get back to work soon. There's a hunger for getting our country back, and it's happening, and it's happening faster than people would think. Ensuring the health of our economy is vital to ensuring the health of our nation. These goals work in tandem. They work side by side. It's clear that our aggressive strategy to slow the spread has been working and is saving countless lives. For those who are infected, we've taken unprecedented action to ensure they have the highest level of care anywhere in the world. The federal government has built more than 11,000 extra beds, shipped or delivered hundreds of millions of pieces of personal protective equipment, as you know. In fact, some of the people here are going to be talking about it, some of our greatest executives, some of the greatest anywhere in the world, and distributed over 10,000 ventilators. And we now have, in a very short period of time, many have been delivered, and hundreds of thousands are being built. And frankly, every governor has more ventilators right now than they know what to do with. They're actually shipping them to different locations, and we're shipping some to our allies and others throughout the world because we have ventilators like uh, the job that they've done in getting this very complex piece of equipment built is actually incredible. You don't hear about ventilators anymore except in a positive way. We've launched the most ambitious testing effort likewise on Earth. The United States has now conducted more than 5.4 million tests nearly double the number tested in any other country, more than twice as much as any other country. Think of that. Moments ago, I came from a meeting with some of our nation's largest retailers, including Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, and Kroger. We're uh, joined by the leaders of those great companies, and we also have with us the leaders from the world's top medical diagnostics companies and suppliers, Thermo Fisher, LabCorp, Quest, U.S. Cotton, and the American Clinical Laboratory Association. These are great, great companies. Uh, these private sector leaders, along with others such as Roche, Abbott, Becton, Dickinson, Hologic, and Cephahide, have been exceptional partners in an unprecedented drive to expand the state's capabilities and our country's capabilities. The job they've done has been incredible. Uh, the testing that's been developed and, and being developed right now has been truly an amazing thing. Uh, I want to thank Abbott Laboratories for the job they've done. I want to thank Roche, and in particular, those two have really stepped forward. Abbott with a five-minute test that people can take, and in five minutes, they know what the, uh, what the answer is. I'd like to ask, if I could, the executives of these great companies, and uh, they are 
They have really helped us a lot over the last 45-day period. We're talking about a 45-day period when many of us met. And since then, what Walmart and the others have done has been nothing short of amazing. So I just want to ask them to come forward and say a few words about their